Has your campaign lost the passion? Are you low on energy? Having trouble maintaining an election? <laughs> then you need a visit from Tory Manifesto. He'll poll your constituency. He'll stick up for small firms. He'll even tax you in the bedroom. Tory Manifesto. He's pumped up, he's bloody lively, and he's anything but conservative. <laughs> Miriam, did you watch the results last night? No, I didn't. I watched the, uh, the exit result at yes. the beginning and then I went to bed. <laughs> right, cool. And how did you feel this morning when you woke up? Because you are a Labour, a Labour member. A Labour I'm a mem Labour member and yeah. I'm, I'm very pissed off and miserable. Right. But I just thought, well, look, we, I'm not going to let him take over my life, the <laughs> b***. <laughs> Some, some areas to go that make us happy. We've got to keep fighting, and we'll get the sh the sh bag out of it. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm really disgusted by the country. I think the country's gone wrong, and, and if they listen to me, they would they would get right again. Well, Not just... that I'm a, a supporter of Corbyn at the moment. I think he he was hopeless, and we need a new leader, and we've got to get on with it. But we mustn't be too downhearted. It's only for five years. <laughs> I'll only be something like 87 at the end. <laughs> Is it OK that during anti-bullying week, Boris Johnson has thrown his support behind Pretty Patel after she was found to be a bully? No. Uh, is it OK that we're all holding our breath to see what he'll do on Holocaust Memorial Day? <laughs> Now, a report by Boris Johnson's adviser on ministerial standards has found that Priti Patel, uh, the Home Secretary, shouted and swore at officials, amounting to, quote, behaviour that can be described as bullying, and therefore broke the ministerial code. Now, the forward to that code was written by Boris Johnson, and it says, there must be no bullying and no harassment. Now, bearing in mind people have left their jobs because of the Home Secretary's bullying, including the adviser on ministerial standards, who submitted the report, then resigned today. You'd expect the Prime Minister would come down pretty hard on Pretty Patel. I mean, the report basically said she's so toxic her twin city is Chernobyl. <laughs> <laughs> if she bites you on the hand, you develop superpowers. So what did Boris Johnson do? He said she didn't mean it and he considers the matter closed. Wow! Well done, Boris Johnson. Now you learn how to be loyal to a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Pretty Patel issued a statement saying, I'm sorry that my behaviour in the past has upset people, while the report claimed her bullying may have been unintentional and pointed out that people hadn't come forward earlier. Maybe that's why Boris hasn't spoke out against her. She's bullying him. Maybe. <laughs> that's why his hair's always a mess. She's always giving him a little bit <laughs> and stuff like that. He, he was going to sack her, but then she said she'd spread a rumour that he was a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> Which is one of the most unlikely rumours of all time, to be fair. <laughs> the thing is, that pe pe the, the argument that people didn't come forward yeah. and tell her that she was bullying him isn't like... That's a load of bollocks, because... In my experience, bullies don't tend to be the most approachable of people, do they? You know, you don't see them walking around with a suggestion box <laughs> or a number written on their back saying, how's my bullying? <laughs> <laughs> Boris, yeah. I mean, he's just a man who can't sack people. Yep. He would be the worst host of The Apprentice of all time. <laughs> <laughs> Each episode would end with him going, oh, well, you're all going through. Fair <laughs> I don't... Do you know what? No wonder he hasn't got a problem with bullying, cos he has stolen the school dinner money off 1,000... of 1.5 million children. Am I right, Lovely guys? Bit of work. Lovely right? bit of work. Yeah. There's one detail that didn't go unnoticed this week, and it's that a whole bunch of MPs were called out of a Tory party fundraiser in order to vote for the, co the government's care bill. That's right, they left an event that raises tens of thousands for the Tory party to vote on a bill that could force people to sell their houses for social care. Particularly galling were the items up for auction at the ball. And rather than run you through them, Josh is going to play a little game. Do you want to explain yes. this? Yes, so that they were auctioning experiences that you could have with Tory politicians. <laughs> <laughs> Some of those experiences have hit the news. <laughs> 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 so I'm going to give you three each. And you've got to tell me whether they're real or false. It's a great game, David, right? Okay. It's a statement, and you've got to decide whether it's a truth or a lie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know whether you understand. It's quite a good little format I'm working out. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to go first or second, David? Uh, uh, yes, that would be lovely, either. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just feel... I, I, I now worry he doesn't understand the format. Yeah. <laughs> OK, Kerry, you're first. OK. Did someone pay £25,000 to have dinner with Michael Gove? 
No. Is it incorrect? Want... That is true. Yes. Oh. No, no, no. They paid twenty five. No, grand. no. No, they did, Kerry. What? <laughs> <laughs> I get... pay that to never see that man. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. You're going to have a, you're going to have a struggle over the next minute or yeah. two if that is a, uh, David. Did yeah. someone pay tw pay twelve thousand pounds to drive Route sixty six with Grant Shapps? <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's less than that's less than half of a Gove dinner. Yeah, that's less than half. <laughs> but Route sixty you're, you're with Grant Shapps for quite a long time. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, I mean, I, you'd pay a lot to reduce the length of the route. <laughs> yeah. just got, you know, the at that point, you're in for 200 grand if it's just a cul-de-sac. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I, I, I think... Do you know, I think that's not true. It's not true. Correct. It's One not point not. to you. Yeah. yeah. Kerry, 28 grand was paid to attend a life-drawing class with Sajid Javid. <laughs> 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 is he drawing or he's... I, don't, I haven't got the details on Well, that. it's really important. <laughs> it is really important. Is he naked? I think he's drawing. OK. <laughs> and he's, is he drawing the... the person that bids? What? You, are you, are you <laughs> yeah, paying? Not, I would like a... Sajid Javid to draw me naked. <laughs> <laughs> See, the problem with this format is we're not doing forward and back because the oh. BBC own that. All right. <laughs> 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 well, Andrew. Channel 4 shouldn't have nicked Baker. Off. <laughs> False. I think that is false. Correct. Correct. One point well to you, Wani. David. Yeah. Thirty-five grand for an hour playing cricket with Rishi Sunak. Oh, th I mean, thirty for Rishi Sunak, thirty-five grand. That's just down the back of his sofa. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, true. Correct. True. Two yeah. one to David. Yeah. Stay in the game. Twenty-two grand for karaoke with Liz Truss. <laughs> <laughs> yes. True. <laughs> You are correct. Yes. No way. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. To win it, David. I mean, that's the sort of dream you have if you've had a lot of cheese. <laughs> 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 to win it, David, for a full house. Yeah. 400 quid to help Matt Hancock move house. LAUGHTER <laughs> <laughs> uh. No, no, nobody wants to help that man. <laughs> Snowy Duffield said, is it OK that MPs have exempted themselves from the snoopers charter? Oh, listen, I... that is absolutely amazing. And, and all the filth would come from them as well. I know! <laughs> I reckon what the MPs... I reckon the snoopers have just gone to the MPs. Look, we don't want to see what you've got as much as you don't want us to yeah, see yeah. it. <laughs> Let's just call this a draw. This is not a draw. There weren't that many amendments made to this bill when it was put forward. One of the key amendments was that MPs had to be exempt from it. Why...? That's cos Theresa May doesn't want people to know she's Googling what is Brexit. <laughs> <laughs> is it OK that later in the show we're going to kick off our search for 2021's Dick of the Year? Yes, it is. Is it OK that MP Nick Fletcher made a last-minute bid for it yesterday when he suggested that a female Doctor Who was responsible for turning young men to crime? <laughs> Now, to be fair to Nick Fletcher, he did say his quote was taken out of context, so let's read the part in question. He said, this is a quote, Everywhere, not least within the cultural sphere, there seems to be a call from a tiny yet very vocal minority that every male character or good role model must have a female replacement. One only needs to consider the discussions about who will next play the, the James Bond to see that. And it's not just James Bond. In recent years, we've seen Doctor Who, the Ghostbusters, Luke Skywalker and the Equaliser all replaced by women. And men are left with the Craze and Tommy Shelby. Is it any wonder that so many young men are committing crimes? <laughs> such such programs make crime look cool. Well, I don't think uh, context helped. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. Yep. I got to, into a bit of trouble when, when I was younger. Really? For trying to nick a pack of Space Raiders from a local news agent. Yeah. And nobody told me then that I could have just blamed Sabrina the Teenage Witch. <laughs> I, I didn't. <laughs> So this is a it does affect you, though. Yeah. Cos I've been committing a series of murders <laughs> uh, since Strictly replaced Len Goodman with Shirley Ballard. <laughs> <laughs> how, how many murders? <laughs> how many mur <laughs> Seven? Seven. <laughs> 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 also, 
Luke Skywalker wasn't replaced. He's still in all the films. James Bond is still a man. So what are they doing? Are they committing these crimes? Ahead of the announcement of the James Bond? <laughs> and look, firstly, if Fletcher's premise is true, why weren't there gangs of women roaming the streets before Jodie Whittaker became the Doctor? <laughs> Secondly, even if you accept his premise that men can't learn from a female role model, we've still got Jack Reacher, Jason Bourne, Ethan Hunt, Sherlock Holmes, Harry Potter, Jon Snow, Captain America, Iron Man, Spider-Man, Wolverine, Thor, Ted Lasso, Woody from Toy Story and every single character played by The Rock. Not to mention two-thirds of Parliament, every US president ever, and Gareth Southgate. We're doing OK! <laughs> so, firstly, there were the accusations from Jennifer R. Curie that he denied that he used his position as London Mayor to promise her support for her business while allegedly having an affair with her. Fire! <laughs> now, but he managed to stay dancing. Then his father, Stanley, was accused of groping two women. Fire! Meanwhile, Dominic Cummings claimed the PM didn't understand the customs union and was more concerned with writing a book about Shakespeare. Fire! <laughs> then the Tory Slee scandal continued with claims that he defended Owen Patterson, that Michael Gove may have acted improperly, that Tory-linked firms made millions out of the pandemic. Do you know what? Everyone, fire! <laughs> Plus the HS2 news and the claims that he still hasn't done enough to help Nazanin Zaghari Ratcliffe and there's calls for an inquiry into his holiday and his flat renovation. <laughs> Basically, it's been a pile on. The question is, how long can he keep dancing? <laughs>